picked me up so I can go on? Help me move her to the chair. Gently, gently, gently. <laughs> Got bad news and worse news. What a wonderful bedside manner. This is the most advanced case of tonsillitis I've ever seen. I have to come out. They said it could wait till I finish the tour. It can't. I hope that was the worst news. Have you ever been tested for pernicious anemia? Pernicious? They said she was probably anemic, but I don't recall any tests. I've been taking arsenic and strychnine. Mm. Well, there's not much I can do when the weaker sex continues to push themselves beyond their natural abilities. Oh, my husband can attest to the natural abilities of my sex. As can my lovers. Vida, this man proposes that it is stronger to abandon one's destiny for the limited opinion of a stranger. as new. patient is an ass. <laughs> to believe that we have no part in determining national events is to believe that women are not human beings. Go home and work. I don't much like the world as it is. Do you? There are too many little sad-eyed children in it. Too many unfulfilled hopes. Too many weary minds and bodies. Too many souls that die before the body dies. Don't you think that women want to make these things different just as much as men do? You say to the government, you shall not educate our children to citizenship or soldierdom without our wisdom and advice. We shall no longer make laws that burden us with taxes and high prices, or that regulate our lives, our homes, our transportation and education of children, until we are free to act with you. This is our demand. Here and there, in farmhouse and in factory, by the fireside, in the hospital and school rooms, wherever women are sorrowing and working and hoping, they are praying for our success. Do you have any children, Dr. Campbell? Three. Three daughters. Too young for something like this, thank God. I admit I do fear for their safety in these times. The best way to protect them is to listen to them and honor their voice. Women of these voting states unite we have only our chains to lose and a whole nation to gain.
President Wilson. How long? How long must women wait for liberty? let you go let back me. out there. Do you hear them? They don't need permission from you or any man. Neither do I. Because I believe you have pernicious anemia. It's a very rare and progressive disease. It'll only get worse. If I were you, if I you were me, doctor, you would be the property of your wife. Seen by your peers as unintelligent and impotent because you were barred from most universities and professions. You would not even have the right to change your circumstances. To vote. Is it worth dying for? Freedom? It's worth living for.
coming out to into the